Today we're going to learn about multiplying fractions. Let's say you want to multiply, let's say, two-thirds times three-fourths. First of all, I like to think of this not as two-thirds times three-fourths, but as two-thirds of three-fourths. That's because in mathematics the English word of is often interpreted as times. So two-thirds times three-fourths is the same as two-thirds of three-fourths. So I'm going to put that equal sign in there. Okay, so to start with, let's draw our fraction two-thirds. Let's do a visual representation. I'll do that by drawing, first of all, a bar like this that represents one whole. So that bar is one whole. To make three-fourths, I've got to divide it into four equal parts. I'll do that as well as I can by first cutting it in half and cutting each of those halves in half. So there I have a whole, or one, two, three, four-fourths, and I just want three of those. So I'm going to shade the ones we're interested in, or hatch them. This. And there's our three-fourths. I'm going to go ahead and erase this fourth we're not using. help us out a little bit later, so I, I don't want to forget that this was three-fourths, otherwise I'm going to think I have three-thirds. So I'm going to go like that. Okay, so there we have our three-fourths. But we want two-thirds of three-fourths. Well, what I need to do then is break this three, three-fourths we have into three parts and keep two of them. Let's do that. So I take our three fourths and we cut it into three equal parts. I'm going to even cut this invisible part over there just to help us think a little bit later. Okay, so we've taken our original three fourths, we've cut it into three parts. So to take two thirds of anything, we cut it into three parts. And take two of those parts. So I did, we're really just interested in this part that's outlined in blue. Okay, so how can we think about this? First of all, we need to figure out what each of these littlest rectangles is. Well, originally we divided our whole, this whole thing, into four parts. Then we took these green lines and we divided those into three parts each, so we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve parts of that original whole. So we're going to end up with twelfths here. Well, how many twelfths do we have? We said we were interested in only in this part within the blue. That's two-thirds of our three-fourths. Well, there are one, two, three, four, five, six twelfths in that part. So that's six twelfths. And if we reduce that, we find out, well, six twelfths is the same as one half. So two thirds times three fourths is simply six twelfths. Let's take a look at another problem. Let me divide this in half. Line down on the center. What if this time we had the problem, what is four-fifths times, we'll use our friend two-thirds again, two-thirds. And I'm using fairly, fractions with small denominators, the number on the bottom, so we don't end up with 57ths or some huge number that we have to deal with. So I have four-fifths times two-thirds, just as before. It's easier for me to think of this as four-fifths of two-thirds. So once again, I'm going to draw a visual representation of my fraction of the two-thirds. So I'm going to draw a bar to represent one whole. And since I'm talking about two-thirds, I need to divide that 
into three roughly equal parts. Now, so I've got one, two, three parts of my whole, so each of those is a third. I'm interested in two thirds, so I'm going to shade the two thirds that I'm interested in. And I'm going to erase that third I'm not interested in. However, just as before, I'm going to put a dotted line in there so I remember that I have two thirds and not two halves. So I've got one, two out of one, two, three, two thirds. Well, this says I want to take four fifths of two thirds. So now what I need to do is divide each of those thirds into five parts. Now this is going to be tricky. I should have done it the other way, two thirds of four fifths, but we'll see if we can do it. So I'm going to divide this into five equal parts. So I've got to cut it four times. So one dot 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 two dot 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 three Okay, so I took this part here, which is the two-thirds, with these green lines, I cut that two-thirds into five parts. And we want to keep four of those parts. So let's highlight the parts we want to keep. So I want four-fifths of that two-thirds, so I want four of those parts. So we want to keep that part right there. Okay, so what is each of these smallest rectangles equal to? Well, I had divided my whole into three parts, one, two, three, and then I would cut each of those into five littler parts. So all together I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen equal parts of the whole. So we're dealing with fifteenths here. And we are only interested in those fifteenths within that blue line because that represents two thirds of, or excuse me, four fifths of the two thirds. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those parts there. So what we really have is eight fifteenths. So we have four fifths times two thirds equals 8 fifteenths. Now obviously whenever you work these fraction problems you probably don't want to have to draw a picture like this each time and neither do I but it is a good way for us to understand why they work. Now, let's see what happened here. When I took two-thirds of three-fourths look at this number on the bottom I ended up with twelfths. That's because I started with fourths and then I divided each fourth into three parts. 3 times 4 is 12, so 1 third of a fourth is a twelfth that makes sense by our picture. So these I just multiplied. 3 times 4 equals 12. Well, let's look at the top. I started with 3 fourths. For every fourth I started with, and I started with 3 of them, I took 2 parts. So 2 for each fourth. So 2 times 3, because I had 3 fourths, is 6. So I ended up with 6 twelfths. Let's look at it over here. I started with thirds, so one, two thirds. I divided each third into five parts, giving me fifteen total parts, so I'm dealing with fifteenths in the end. How many thirds did I have to begin with? I had one, two thirds to begin with. And each of those two thirds, I kept four parts for each of them, so four times two is eight. So to multiply fractions, simply multiply the tops by the tops, and the bottoms by the bottoms. So now if you had something like, let's say, three-fifths, and you want to multiply that times four-sevenths, well, you know to begin with you have sevenths, and you're going to break each of those sevenths into five parts. So five times seven, you're going to end up with thirty-fifths. And you started with four sevenths, and for each seventh you started with, you're going to have three parts when you're done, so three times four is twelve. So three fifths times four sevenths 
is 12 35ths.